YouTube, what's good? It's your boy. I'm coming to you guys with another album review, and today I'll be viewing Slipknot. We're not your guys. You are to not be mine. You must not be died. We are not your guys. And yes, bro, I got so much to say about this album. It released yesterday. I was planning to review it yesterday, but I wanted to, you know, give it another listen or two before I come to y'all with my full thoughts tonight. Buttload to say about this. But first, let me tell y'all how I got introduced to Slipknot. So I was watching a Rock Feed video, and in the video, uh, there I saw this cover for this that just looked great. I love the way it looked. I don't know if it was for a single or album at the time. I would later find out it was for a single, and single was All Out Life. And after that, I was like, wow, Slipknot, baby. dang, this this, this band hold on. So that's how I got introduced to Slipknot, and I've just been listening to music ever since then. And it's just, this album um, is, <laughs> spoiler alert, this album is amazing. It's very good. It's very well put together. The songs make sense. The way this, the, I have so, there's so many positives about this album. Uh, you know, let me just first talk about Corey Taylor. Like, so I've been looking up uh, a lot into Corey Taylor. I've been listening to interviews because that's what I like to do when I like get introduced to a band or like I listen to their music. I like to you know know the members, know what's going on, you know, understand the, like the, the top downs. Even though I don't know all the members of a uh, Slipknot, you know, I I know you know a majority of them and I know what's going on and stuff like that. So I looked into Corey Taylor and it's just. And Slipknot, and they've just been through heck and back, like hell and back, and it's just like, oh my gosh, man, this is, I feel so bad for them. You know, all this crazy stuff that I don't want to get into, because I want this to be a positive video, but Corey Taylor and the members have been through a lot, it's just so great to see how there's, you know, most of them are still around. Rest in peace to uh, Paul Gray, um, still doing their thing, and, you know, making albums, Stone Sour with Corey Taylor, and I'm just, you know, Sorry to go on a tangent, but Corey Taylor, Corey Taylor's vocals are so good in this album. Like, I, I just, especially in um, Not Long From This World, I, that, Corey, 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 <laughs> bruh, Corey, oh my gosh, bro, holy crap. His vocals in this whole album is just amazing. When he's screaming, when he's just going soft, just like sort of talking to you and wanting you to experience the song with him. It's just such a good experience. I, I love Corey Taylor as a vocalist and what he could do and his vocal ability. I could scream it, ah! that was bad. But I, you, you get what I'm saying? Like I just love how he could do that stuff and it's just so dope like mad respect to him um I, I love Corey Taylor he's great he seems like a very nice very fun down to the earth just cool guy you could chill with on the weekends you know just be chilling and then doing your thing you know he's just he did so good he did so good um you know the, the another positive is just like these songs flow so well how it goes from insert coin to the little you know uh, 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 straight someone in the comments of insert coin was like it feels like uh, I have to go to the upside down to save someone because it, it does it feels sort of like a stranger things esque type deal insert coin and yeah I do agree with that and how insert coin goes to unsainted to unsainted goes to birth of the cruel then how birth of the cruel goes to death because of death and goes to neo forte then critical darling how critical darling goes into liars or how what's next goes into spiders like oh my these songs flow so well so perfect so effortlessly and i'm just i'm just this was great the producer did well mad props to, to everyone um who who did like how it all flowed like it felt like one big massive narrative that they're trying to pull us on and i just love that part i just love this album because of what they did and how like the songs flow like i said Corey's vocals um you know, just, just great. Um, another great thing about this album, another positive, is that it, I felt Corey's pain. And this album is very personal. It just, it feels like it came from the heart. It feels like everyone put their heart into this album. And I love that I could feel that spirit. I love how I could feel Corey's pain and his journey and how it's, it's, you could, you could just feel it. You could feel it. And I'm just like, oh my gosh, bro. Corey 
can I give you a hug? Like, it's like, oh my God, because it's like, I, I'm listening to his experiences and what he's going through, and how it's felt like his just life was going nowhere. And like, how he's sad, how he's got these fake people around him who say they're there for him and are not really there for him. I'm just like, oh my gosh, like I understand and I could 100% relate to what he's talking about. And and I, that's another part of this album that I love, how relatable it is to, to me and others, how we could relate, how we could understand how it's, how it, it'll take you a minute to digest everything that Cord was trying to, you know, bring to your attention. And I'm still just listening through the album because, like I said, this album's fantastic, great. I, I'm deaf, I love, I, like, it's not like a chore going through this album again, trying to break through and digest everything and try to interpret what he was trying to bring to us. I love doing that because, like, like I said, I keep saying this, I'm sorry I'm repeating myself, but this album is fantastic. It's great. It's, it's, I love it. Um, and I just love what he's, you know, it's, it's not, you can't just listen to this one time and be like, oh, I got the meaning already. You know, no, that's why, like, with the uh, Skilla album, it, it, I, I love the Skillet album. I'm not trying to diss it, be like it's trash or whatever. I love the Skillet album. But for me, it just, listening to this, the Skillet album feels a little too easy, too on the nose to get, like, you get the meaning fully. Like, I can't, I can tell my favorite songs from the uh, Slipknot album, but for me to tell you the meaning behind all these songs is just impossible for me personally, to, you know, in my opinion, because I'm still trying to digest everything with a Skillet album. It was more easier for me, you know, more easy for the message to come around and convey, which is amazing. And I love Skillet for that. But this Slipknot album right here was, oh, oh, <laughs> I just, I just love it, man. Like, oh my gosh, I can't praise this album enough. Um, this, you felt it, you felt it. I love how everyone put their time in there. Um, you know. I don't want to say members wrong and be like, oh, you know, Jim Root did this or, did it, you know, or Mick Thompson did this. Mick Thompson is Jim Root, guitarist, main uh, guitarist I, uh, who <laughs> played a guitar, of course. I'm just, they, they did great. They did amazing. Oh, my God, they did amazing. They did so well. I'm just like, <laughs> like, oh, my gosh. The another positive, the instrument play, how it built, built up to things, how in Neo Forte, Neo Forte is freaking amazing and I can't get enough of that song. When you go to the middle part and you hear the, I'll just play it for you. Like, like it's marching, like you're going to war, like you feel like a total bad A, like you finna do your thing. I'm just like, oh my gosh, the guitar, the drum, how it all intersects in one is, ah, I can't, <laughs> nuts. Like, oh my gosh, bro. Um, the, the instrument play was amazing. The way how the wordplay in this album was, oh my gosh. I had to go back to Neo Forte. Um, because I was watching a reviewer. I can't remember the reviewer's channel, but I'll put it in the description down below when I find, if you want to check it out. He was talking about, if you pay close attention to the middle section, Corey spelling out something. And I was like, this, when I went back and I realized what he was spelling, I was like, ho, ho. I'm not going to say it because I really want y'all to listen to that song. It was, um, number 13 trending yesterday. I think last time I checked, it was number 37 trending. But the song is still trending, which is amazing. Shout out to Slipknot and the whole gang for getting that song. I could have told anyone that the song was gonna blow because it w it's just so good. Neil Forte or Neil Fort or whatever is great. Um, you know, it, it, it's just oh my gosh, bro. Neil Forte. Oh, it's a song in itself. I just I just love the wordplay when I like I, I don't want to tell y'all because I want y'all to go to that song and do it for yourself. I want you to get that. Oh snap moment that I got when I heard it again. Shout out to our review for bringing that to my attention. Cause Corey, bro, Cor I think Corey could be a rapper. I'm not gonna hold nobody. Like I'm so for his wordplay and just uh, he, how, how he can convey emotion. Corey could, 
go anywhere and be a success. Like if he wanted to be a rapper, I was listening to an interview, I think it was on Larry King, he was like, he wants to, do, he wanted to do a song with Jay-Z. Hova, hook up my mans, bro. <laughs> like, he, he, he brings so much to the song. Like, he, his wordplay is just great. It was great on this album, how poetic he was. He, it was just, ugh, ugh. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, man. But yeah, bro. This album oh, is just so good. I'm so proud of Corey Taylor, Jim Root, Mick Thompson, Tortilla Man. <laughs> um and all the other members, those like I said, I don't know all the members. I'm sorry, I should, cause I claim to be a Slipknot fan. But um, I sh they shout out to all the members that did their thing. Just you guys did amazing. I love this album so freaking much. And when I I really mean it, I'm probably gonna listen to this album for like ever. It's so good. I'm I I probably listen to Neo Forte like. 20, 30 times? Like, it's insane. Like, I've listened to that song over and over and over and over and over again for like ever. And it's just like, I, I, it's great. And, um, it, ah, gosh, I'm sorry, I'm stumbling over my words because I'm trying to get all my thoughts up because I, I love this album so much. But when, I don't know. So, a con, we would say a con, something I didn't like. I felt like the instrumental of songs kind of went on too long at times. Not all of them, one, one especially My Pain. I felt like it shouldn't have been too long. Um, it, it was six minutes and I, I I wasn't a big fan. I'm not the biggest fan of My Pain. The first time around, I hated it. Like I was like, what the freak? I don't like this. But the second time around, I was like, oh, okay, I get it. See, this is what I'm talking about. I could go back to this album and like listen. Maybe the third time around, I freaking love my pain. I have no clue. But once I hear the lyrics, read the lyrics, digest it, eat it up, and and do all that stuff, I might like it. But for right now, I'm not the hugest fan of my pain. Even though it's a it's a okay song, and if people like it, I can understand it. But I'm not the biggest fan of it because it's six minutes long. I feel like it shouldn't be six minutes. But yeah, uh, that's my only con is I felt like it, some songs went on too long, like my pain. Um, Critical Darling, I feel like could have been trimmed up a little bit, but at the same time, if it was, I feel as if it wouldn't have as much, of it. it wouldn't lend as much into a liar's funeral. So I was trying to, I was trying to say my bad, but yeah, it's just, oh man. Shout out to this album. Please buy this album. I highly recommend it. What do I give it? A. I give it a solid A. So good. Freaking Slipknot, you did your thing. You did your thing, bro. Like. I oh I'm I'm trying to go to their concert um in Alpharetta but I I, I really I want to try and go because it's gonna be insane bro Neil Forte live live is going to melt brains <laughs> like <laughs> oh it's gonna be so good this album is 9.5 out of 10 I loved it. it was holding it back for me like I said I felt like the instrumentals could have been cut a little bit. I'm not the biggest fan of my pain as of right now. I don't know what's going to happen. But yeah, this is a solid A. Very good. Very, very amazing work. And, when, and like I said, it's very relatable to me. Um, I, I, I understand and I've dealt with some of the feelings he's felt before. But it all gets better. You know, it, it just it moves on. It's a feeling. It'll get better. And this album has just helped me out get through this boring and dull junior year. Because I'm, you know... Junior year is eh right now. It might get better, but it's eh right now. This album, even though it came out like literally just yesterday, is really helping me out. And um, yeah, thank you so much for this album, Slipknot. I'm so proud of y'all. I'm so excited to see what the future of Slipknot and uh, Stone Sour. I'm starting to listen to a little bit, and that's really good too. So I'm excited to see where the future lies for Slipknot, Corey Taylor, and the whole entire gang. Please check out this album. Anyway, guys, what did you guys think of Slipknot's album? Oh, I forgot to tell my favorite song. My favorite song's off the album. Almost everything. But it goes, A Live Funeral is my favorite. Neo Forte, Critical Darling. Um, 
red flag, spiders. At first, it, it's just so creepy. Like, spiders is so creepy. It's like, dun, 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 dun. I love that. Not long for uh, for this world. Soul Away First. Love that song. Un uh, did I say Unsainted? I think I did. Uh, if I did, sorry. Uh, but, oh, what else, what else? What another song off this album. I love almost every song. Orphan song is nice. Um, I, I love these songs, but my number one favorite song off this album has to be A Liar's Funeral because of the story Tori, Tori, Corey was telling and what he was trying to convey to us. He did an amazing job. Slipknot, I'm so proud of you. I'm so happy to be a magnet. <laughs> so happy to be part of this fan, of uh, this fandom. I'm so excited to see the future of Slipknot. Like I said. I'm sorry to repeat, but um, yeah, guys, what do you think of the Slipknot's album? If you haven't, please go check out that album. If you just want a song, listen to Liar's Funeral or listen to Your Forte, because that song is so hype. Like, I, I got uh, workouts for uh, baseball soon. I'm going to be jamming that junk all the time because it's so hype. It gets you ready to, like, look boys and do your thing. So I'm so excited. Anyway, guys, hopefully you please listen to this album. Please listen to it. Or at least it's total suits on live if you're on your forte. This view is going on a little too long. But uh, yeah, guys. Love you all. Love this album. Shout out to Corey Taylor and Slipknot. And I'm so excited for y'all to give me y'all feedback. Anyway, look, see y'all later. Like, comment, subscribe, share. Turn on post notifications. And I'll see y'all next time. Peace out.